Hey everybody out there, two periods is in the books and a 3 nothing lead is what Trevor C. North Stars have, but the Kalamazoo K-Wings will not give up, I promise you that. They are bringing it, they just haven't found a way to put one home. Here's Nolte, a shot! That puck will be pushed aside by Seifer. Kalamazoo K-Wings are in their offensive zone attack again. This puck will come out though. Nolte will look to change direction. Good play there. A little stick handle action. A flash. Trying to pronounce that name. Handled. See first will hand it back to the linesman. We'll go to another face off. Face off in the offensive zone for the K-Wings of Kalamazoo who didn't make a trip all the way up here to go home with a L. So far it's looking bleak for them but comebacks in hockey can't happen. Whitmore, Whitmore makes a nice move. Tried to backhand that puck out front. No chance that puck was getting close to the net with that defense in there. The Cameron, oh that puck just skirted to the right side post. That's about as close as it comes to. That's why you put the puck on that. And that'll be in all sides. Let's take a look at the crowd over there. We've got all these people that made the trip up from Kalamazoo and the Traverse City North Stars. We got any waivers over there? And uh, they are definitely waving now. They're going to be on in 4K on the Razor Razor Sharp YouTube Hockey Channel. Whitmore. K-Wing still had a puck in their zone though. Just keeping that puck in will be Rocco. Ooh, going to have a shot. And Seifer will bobble the puck but put it away in the glove and say, let's do this again. A shot! Stouffer almost stuffed that one away. Pass over. Here comes Traverse City. Volante will, will gain the blue line. Pass it over. This will come out to center. Starting over is Kalamazoo. Wood is chasing though. The pressure's on. This puck will go into offense zone for Traverse City momentarily, but will come out to center. Campbell try gathering that puck up. Here comes Campbell. Backhand over. That puck's off the skates. Devon tried to backhand in front of the net. Won't get in front of the net. Kellen Mazzu will send it out front. Nothing happening there. Bradfield. McCammon, number 93. Brody McCammon. Just gave that puck away. Watch out. This could be another break. But McCammon gets on his horse. He's defending well. Good skating. Sent over. Zirico pushed that puck aside. Here comes the K-Wings. Campbell will try to get in the zone. This puck will just stay in the offensive zone. Off the skate. Still in the zone. Devon left it in. Kept it in. Passing off. This puck will come out to center. McCammon. Brody McCammon trying to get that over the blue line. And we'll have it off sides. Once again, I want to let everybody out there know you need to congratulate all the players on this ice, win or lose, just for making it to the level of single A travel hockey, as it is a higher level 
for the more experienced players or the players that develop faster from the young kids. Of course, there's double A and triple A. That doesn't happen until later. And some big states and big cities in America have triple A as young as 12 years old, sometimes 10. We have our first penalty. And we'll be having a Kalamazoo K-Wing go to the penalty box. A player I've been talking about all game. Number 77, Tyler Rockwell, probably one of the best players on the ice the whole game. Playing his defensive role is now in the penalty box. Trevor City will have a chance on the power play. And the K-Wings will be on the PK. What is the PK? It is a penalty kill, baby. Who's going to come out on top? 3-0 still with 929 left in the third. Watch out, there's a shot. And Zurich will just butterfly and crush the puck down and move on to another faceoff. Crush the puck down. There's a good one, Razor Razor Sharp. I've never heard anybody say crush a puck. That's pretty funny, but who knows what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, set over there. Traverse City setting up on the man advantage. K-Wings are thinking about a short-handed goal as Devon is now moving in with two defenders. He does get in the blue line. He gets the outside. He's got a shot. That puck didn't even have to be saved as it didn't make it on net. Watch out. That was a giveaway. Nice play by LaFlage. 135 left in the man advantage. Trevor City trying guys on the watch out. K-Wings are coming. Here's a shot. That puck will be pushed off to the side as it goes behind the net. Devon will gather this puck up. Less than one minute left in the power play. Traverse City's not getting any attack as K-Wings are still bringing it. Kalamazoo will gather this. McCammon gets through that D-man. Off the skates he goes. To reverse, back in. That was an offside. Here comes Whitmore, sends it off the sideboards. This puck will remain in the zone. Ooh, there could have been a rebound there. Zurich had to be fast and reacting there. Hey, but Zurich's gonna get some work now. Voss will send this down. Eric Voss sent that behind the net. We had a chance out front there. We are back to five aside. Rockle is going to come out of the box. There goes Rockle. Send down. Whitmore's going to chase as well as Boss. Battle in the corner there. Rockle. Send the puck up. Campbell gathers his puck. Comes up the sideboards. Little battle on the side, nobody can get the puck out. Stalemate action going on. Keller finally makes a move to the center. He's going to have a chance to have a shot on goal. Heine had the shot, and it was handled. Heine had a shot from way out, and he got the puck at the last second as traffic was going in front, and we're going to go to another faceoff. A new goaltender has entered the game, number 29 for the Kalamazoo K-Wings. Number 29's name is Justin Rentschler. Yeah, Rentschler. Justin Rentschler will go into net and we'll see what this comes up. Six fifty left in the third. Investor 
Gets a chance to make a rush up the ice. Gonna use that speed, gonna get around. Tries it back in in front. Can't quite make that. And that will be an offside as Williams really should have started over with that puck instead of lofting it into the zone. We have a face-off. K-Wings are going to have to get some kind of a goal happening soon for this comeback to happen. A shot! Wow! Good positioning by Seaforth as the pads were there. McCammon left that there in the wrong spot. And the goaltender will come to aid. Justin Rensler was in position. It's still a 3-0 hockey game with 6.13 left in the third period. Could anybody from the K-Wings make a bid on a comeback? Somebody has to step up and make a play. Maybe a odd man rush, maybe a loose puck, maybe a second, third chance, but Mr. Seaforth is playing one great hockey game in between those pipes. Here comes the K-Wings. Oh, he's gonna get up the center. Campbell's gonna be in! He takes! See if is there! That puck was... Was that a goal? That was stopped! Seifer stayed poised in the midst of that action and Campbell could not capitalize. Hudson Campbell wouldn't want to have that one back because that was a great play, just a better save. 3-0, 6-0-1 left in the third. Here comes North Star of the ice, but Rockwell's going to get to this puck. Campbell, trying to come around. Puck is bouncing around like a bouncy ball. Rockwell's going to go back on D and retrieve this puck. He's going to hoist this puck. This doesn't go anywhere though. Now he's got the puck again. Send this up. Here comes Stouffer. Stouffer's going to send this puck up or he's going to stick handle. Can't quite make it through the D though. Volante. Devon. Campbell's going to get this puck. Campbell's defended well by that player number 24 for Traverse City. Brady Kavanaugh. Campbell chasing. Devon, sideboards. Tried to make a move to the inside, but this puck will come out now. It actually stays in. Devon does get the puck back. Nice little play there. Campbell's got a look. A backhand. A shot. Oh, they're playing so well. They're just not putting the puck home. Off the post that goes. K-Wings are bringing it. It looks like they've got all the energy right now. Rocco, what a shot! That's the player that I would say is playing the best hockey on the ice this whole game. And I've been watching him defend well, and he just took that puck and put it in the only place that Seifert could not stop it because it was in the top of the corner. It is a 3-1 hockey game with 4.41 left in the third period. Do we have a comeback coming for the away team? Olinger. McCammon walks the blue line. Has to come out though. Defended well by Bulger. Trips over his own, over a stick that's left on the ice. Loose pucks are there. It seems like all the loose puck battles are being won by the team wearing red, white, and blue from Kalamazoo. The question is, do the Kalamazoo K-Wings have some growl in them as that is a baseball team from Kalamazoo? Oh, I saw punches thrown there. You don't see that very often. Whitmore's in a lot of trouble. I thought I saw punches thrown. I Was I imagining things or... He's going to the penalty box. 
Whitmore is going to the penalty box. I don't know if the linesman saw him. The left hand I saw. I hope we have that on video. All right, we'll go to a face-off. Three to one for the Traverse City North Stars as they go on another man advantage. Three minutes and 45 seconds left in the third period. This is a battle. Oh. Yeah, I, I realized that we had, why do we have five players on the ice for, K, for Kalamazoo? If, that can't be. There's no way. Why is it five on five? All right, the, the referee and linesmen are not catching too many men on the ice. As this is a power, oh, okay, there's two power plays going on, okay. That's why it's gonna change. So it's offsetting penalties. I apologize. I didn't see the North Star go in the box. Oh, there is a North Star in the box. Okay. Well, we're down, coming down to three minutes and 20 seconds left. The, the K-Wings are trying to make a bid to come back. And it is five on five hockey. Here comes the K-Wings up the ice, and Bester will handle this. He's going to skate up, handle the blue line. He's got defenders all around. Oh, runs into a couple players. They're going to say no penalty there. If they were all going for the puck, it'll be a face-off. With a minute 14 left in the penalties for both these players, these are offsetting penalties, so nothing's really going to change. But I'm not understanding how... Both teams have five on five. If, if you got offsetting penalties, I think you should have four on four. I don't know. That's a mystery. Yes. Points are down penalties. First two minutes for holding. Killings number eight. Campbell goes around the corner. Campbell's looking to set up. Lost that. Trevor City number 15. Two budget. Killings hold. Holland. Does get this puck out. K-Wings are going to have to come on a big attack here as there's, the seconds are starting to get a little bit against them as the time is getting against them and they've got to make this comeback. Off the sideboards, this puck will go. K-Wings, nice move there, but... Could not pass it over to his counterpart. We have an offsides. With two minutes and four seconds left in the third period, I got a question. Does anybody on the Kalamazoo K-Wings have what it takes to make a comeback? That's right, Mr. Rocco goes to the outside, he's going to have to tie his face. He's defended well by Kavanaugh, center and pass, doesn't make it there. Watch him for that goaltender to leave the crease as it's a two goal lead. Nice little play there by Olinger. Olinger's going to go behind the net, Olinger's going to keep his head up and passes that down. Who's that? Oh, Campbell is tripped. That's, he just lost an edge, it looks like. K-Wings are trying to center and pass. That doesn't work. The goaltender is still in that down there. Here comes the North Stars. And Sana could get in. And Sana's off to the races. And Sana, this could be. This might be a penalty shot. Because he threw his stick at him. That has got to be a penalty shot. Penalty shot. Point that to the ice. I saw the stick leave the defender's hand. Yes, Let's see. You just said it. Yes, it is going to be the most exciting play in hockey. As in Sana. Mason and Sana was in all by himself. And here we go. And Sana's going to stick handle. 
He's going to set up. That's right. Pulls the back hit and he scores! Insana puts an explanation point on victory for the North Stars with only one minute and ten left in the third. Unless there is an absolute monumental miracle comeback, this game is all but over. This game is pretty much like the election because the election is all but over, if you know what I mean. And we have a face off at center ice. This has been a great hockey game today. The seconds they're going to tick down. Does Calum do have one more goal, and then just to go home with some, you know, some positive outlook? And they're going to face them again this weekend. As you know, travel teams always play each other more than once. Question is, do we want to come back for that second game later? Here goes Lowe. Lowe's going to be off the races for the second time in the game. He gets in, but he's defended well by those two defensemen back on Kalamazoo. There's a shot off the pads, another backhand. Puck is loose, watch out. Coming out of that melee is another chance. A rebound. Great save by that goaltender. Justin Rensler did their job and will come up short. This is the end of a great hockey game. Kalamazoo, you gave it everything you had. You just didn't have the breaks and the bounces go your way. And the North Stars have taken it home 4 to 1. As these players come out onto the blue line and they pay their respects to each other. We are going to have a three stars in the game. Your third star. Let's go over the three stars of the game. First of all, let's say congratulations to the North Stars who played an outstanding hockey game. Very defensively sound. And the Kalamazoo K-Wings brought it. They just didn't have even go their way as far as puck luck. I mean, I've seen a lot of puck luck there. And when you hear who my third star of the game is going to be, you're going to laugh, but it is the third star. My third star of this hockey game is going to be the post. That's right, the post for the, the goaltender of the Traverse City North Star Seifer. The post bailed him out about five times, and that's why the post is getting the third star of the game. My second star of the hockey game is going to go to a hockey player that you could not stop, and that would be Mr. Insana, Mason Insana. I believe had two goals in this hockey game. One of them was on the most electrifying play in hockey, which is called a penalty shot and he put it away in the backhand and that is why he's my second star of the game but going to the number one star of the game you could not get a puck pass Mr. Griffin Seifert that's right Griffin Seifert stopped so many shots on goal and that's the reason why he is my number one star of the game this is the Razor Razor Sharp Hockey Network saying subscribe, follow, and share on the Hockey YouTube channel. Until next time, hockey off.